The NFL season is going strong, and DraftKings Sportsbook is hooking new customers up with an offer that's even stronger. Bet five bucks on any game this week to score $200 instantly in bonus bets. And DraftKings isn't stopping there. All customers can take advantage of a sweetener offer every game day this October. Get in on game day greatness. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use code SHANNON. New customers can score $200 instantly in bonus bets when you bet five on the NFL. That's code SHANNON only on DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. The crown is yours. Hello, hello, hello again, and we're back. Welcome to another episode of Nightcap. I am your favorite unk, Shannon Sharp. He's your favorite number 85, Chad Ocho Cinco Johnson. Please hit the button below. Subscribe, the big, big button on your screen, on your screen to make sure you subscribe, to make sure you're alerted every time that we're on. Let's jump right into it, Ocho. The Bills hang on and beat the Giants 14-9. Daniel Jones was out. Mm-hmm. Tyrod Taylor came in and mm-hmm. acquitted himself very well tonight. What was the mm-hmm. takeaway from this game? Uh, my takeaway from the game was obviously the Giants did what they needed to do offensively and defensively. Not enough to get the W. Having a chance at the end, obviously clock management when they had to kick a field before before they had the clock management was very bad before the half. Right. They should have. Yeah, because I want to know. I'm thinking the same thing you're thinking. Yeah. I'm thinking okay. what was the call. Because we saw a similar call earlier this year with Baltimore, right? Where they didn't want to snap the ball, they ended up snapping, and they turned the ball over, and mm-hmm. they don't get a chance at the field goal, right? Because now instead of trying to for a touchdown to win the mm-hmm. game, you kick a field goal oh, and you win, you the, win game. the game. So I would like to hear Brian Dayball talk talk about that. What yeah. transpired? What did what? And Tyrod, mm-hmm. what was he thinking? Yeah, I'm I'm not sure what they were thinking, but that that one play. One play in 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 a, in a football game. There's 65 to 70 plays. There are about two or three plays in a game that determine the outcome. And the mess up before the half and not being able to to kick a field goal or at least mm-hmm. score a touchdown is the reason why it went down to the wire the way it did. Obviously, they weren't they weren't they weren't able to convert and get a touchdown at the end. But it was a good game. It was a good game. And the fact that Daniel Jones wasn't playing, Saquon was back. Saquon ran the ball extremely, extremely well. I don't have a stat line because obviously the, the game just said I don't have a stat line. But Tyrod did what he what he what he could do and gave the Giants a chance. Yeah, I, I, th- these coaches got to get out of their own way because all <laughs> of a sudden now everybody wants to prove that how smart they are and go right. for it on fourth down right, and making right. it about themselves. We saw this in the Oregon game. He right. made it about himself. Punt that football. Do not give that ball back to Washington in mm-hmm. that situation. And we keep seeing Pete Carroll. What mm-hmm. the hell are you thinking? Take the field goal. Your right. defense is playing really well. You could after those first two drives, mm-hmm. you guys did a number on the Bengals deep mm-hmm. on the Bengals offense. Yeah. Take the points there. And now you're going down to kick a field goal to win the mm-hmm. game instead of getting the ball in, instead of trying to get a touchdown to win the game, considering how bad you were in the red mm-hmm. zone all day long. Right. These coaches, everybody, well, I'm trying to run time off the clock, and, right. you know, I don't want to give them the ball back. Mm-hmm. Bro, if you give them the ball back and they go get a touchdown and, and, or, or field goal, get in field goal range with five, six seconds, well, mm-hmm. you need to put that on your DC. You need to put that mm-hmm. on your defensive players to do a better job. But I need to know what Tyrod – I need to hear Brian Dayball, mm-hmm. and I need to hear Tyrod Taylor – Explain to me what the thought process was and what the call that came in. Because there's no way in hell I'm running that football. Yeah. Because I already know, Ocho, there's only nine mm-hmm. seconds. Right. You're not going to get another play- – first of all, down there, if they tackle you, you're not going to get another playoff if there's 15 right. seconds. Right. They they And actually, before the half, they wouldn't let Tyrod Taylor up anyway. They wouldn't let him no. up. They no. No, 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 no. They wouldn't even they let, wouldn't let up. anybody up. <laughs> and then I also would like the question I want to ask you. I want to double back to you and ask you, in that situation – it reminded me of the Seahawks game, obviously with Russell Wilson. You had Marshawn Lynch in the back with, yes, the, Super Bowl, yes. with the Super Bowl on the line. What would you have done in that situation if you were the ball? Would you have actually thrown that, or would you hand it no, off to I'm Saquon since he, since, a, he, since he had no, success well, all game? No, but here's the difference. 
in the Seattle situation in the Super Bowl, right? They let they let the Patriots dictate. What they did is they brought their goal line personnel. Right. They brought, I think, if I'm not mistaken, they brought in six down line. They brought in, they, uh, I think, they jumped into a 53 front. Right. Five down linemen. I don't care because guess what? It's only second down, right. and I still got a timeout go to let okay. go. So if right. I don't get it, I can call time out if I need to. I mm -hmm. probably won't. I'm gonna let the time tick. Right. And now on third down, hey, see what happened on fourth down if right. I need that. Right. In these situations, coaches are over overthinking it. Mm -hmm. Analytics department has ruined the game, has ruined sports because they say, well, if you do this, you got a 50% chance of losing. Right. If you right. but it doesn't take into account momentum. Mm -hmm. And what if all it gives you is like if you go for it here, this is what happens. If mm -hmm. you score here, this is what happens. Right. But what about the tide turning? What about the momentum in the ball game? Mm -hmm. It doesn't factor in that. And so these coaches are getting into the, getting in their own way. I will say this. Darren Waller was interfered with on both of those plays. Right, but you that can, was a PI at the end. Can can you call you can't you can't call that twice now. Come I on. will make them call I can, will make you them can't, call you can't, it. You can't call that twice though. Not not That's in that situation. The, not in that situation. As a deep, as a, but let me ask you a question. Yes, sir. Did he get did he get held? Yeah. Yeah. But this is the thing about it, Shannon. This is the thing about it. Listen, the refs could be picky. They can be picky. You know, yeah. do you know you can call a holding play on every play? Yes. On every play. Whether it's the linemen, whether it's the DBs, there's always something going on on every play. So there's certain times in certain situations, you just can't throw that flag back to back like that. Allow the, the, Gi the, the, the Giants already got they, they got their they got their one. You got your one. You got your first pass. But, but, let me ask you a question. But did, he, now, but, did he, but did he but did he hold but see here's the thing. Here's why my pushback. It's only a one man route. It's right. right there the back jump. You 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 holding the guy right there in front of right, the back right. jump, Ocho. It's like I, I, man. listen. As much as I want the Giants to win that, you can't though. You can't give them that call twice in a row. You can't. You you you, you can't. Do been, that. Ocho, Ocho. What is giving a call is the call, and we're going to discuss this a little later. Is that mm -hmm. what Gibson Junior got, mm -hmm. a Gibson Senior got mm -hmm. in the Cleveland Forty ers game? Mm -hmm. That was a gifted call right, because right, right. it didn't hit him in the neck. He didn't. He didn't hit him in his head. Yeah, he didn't hit anything. And they call uh, unnecessary roughness. roughness. In this situation, yeah. the only thing I will say about Waller, they're coming in. You're supposed to sell the run. You got more time than you think. Right. In television, if you read the prompter, they always tell you. I remember when I, when I started, when I took classes, uh, I, even though I didn't think I was going to have to read the prompter, but sometimes I do. They say, Shannon, you have more time than you, you think. think. Right. When he came with that crack motion with Darius Slate, mm -hmm. now – and if they're like, oh, this is about to be a run, mm -hmm. I'll block down one because I know it's a I know it's a pass. They don't know right. what it is. Right. Thousand one, thousand two. All I need him to do is to put his eyes on the back or put his eyes uh, somewhere. A split second. Now I'm behind it. Yeah. He, that, that's it. That's it. All I need him to do is hesitate. I'm not gonna go to him. I'm gonna block down right. to make him think it's gonna we're trying to toss crack the ball to mm -hmm. a Saquon. Right. All he had to do was fake, take time. I right. thought he went too quick, right? And he didn't sell it enough. And, and but he, he still he ran out of a little bit of real estate too. So again, yeah. you, I mean, I, I don't, I don't, that's I don't, why you slow down because think about it, Ocho. That's why you slow down. slow down. Right, right, right. Where you gonna go? It's it's not a play like you're in the middle of the field right. and you run that play because mm -hmm. now you got room to run. You only got ten yards. Mm -hmm. So again, I'm, I'm I don't know. You you might have answered it, but. I didn't hear you. So if you were the ball in that situation, would you have gone with that same play with the pass play to Waller? Or would you have run it with Saquon since he was he was successful running the ball all night? I really don't have a problem with the call. The only okay, problem okay. that I have is that is it. And I'm not I'm saying the exit because I thought it was a great play call. Mm -hmm. We see this play. We see this play a lot where you try to leak the tight end out. Mm -hmm. But the only thing is, I thought Waller went too quick. Right. And you get that sometimes because, you know, it's only two seconds. We mm -hmm. only got one crack at this. But right. Take your time. Take your time. And, I, and that's the one thing that John and I would we would always discuss in, in, in meetings. He's like, they would say, OK, Shannon, we want you to go 12 to 14. And I would ask John, what are you thinking on this route? Right. He said, give me 12, give me 12 in practice because I know you're going to speed it up in the game. Mm -hmm. So now I'm telling, I'm telling Darren Waller, Hey, a one count, give me a two count. Cause right. I know you're going to speed it up in the game. Mm -hmm. That's, that's the only thing. If, if I could give him any advice, you got more time than you think.
Right. But I thought I thought the Giants played well. I thought Wink Martindale did a great job of confusing Josh Allen, hmm. doing a great job of disguising things. I thought they played well. They played well enough to win that game. Tyrod Taylor did not embarrass himself. Mm -hmm. Having Saquon back obviously helped the offense. Darius Slayton made some big time catches. A mm -hmm. lot of guys made yeah, big time yeah. catches tonight. Jalen Hyatt. Jalen Hyatt, Jaylen Hyatt we, made a yeah. big time catch. But I, I, I think sometimes we sell this today. We saw the Bills struggle. We're mm -hmm. talking about the Eagles. They lost the 49ers. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you look at an opponent, especially when you're five and zero, right? And they're struggling. Mm -hmm. You look at them and they're without their best player. They're, they're without Deshaun on offense mm -hmm. or they're without the best the all pro running back, Nick Chubb. Mm -hmm. And you look at them or you look at the Jets they're like, well, they don't have Aaron Rodgers and they're without some, they're without a uh, uh, sauce. I don't think some mm -hmm. sauce played today. Nah, I sauce didn't play now. So, and you look at that Ocho and you're like, oh, we got them in the bag, Gee. but I'll give, I'll give Mike Shanahan a lot of credit. Yeah, because he and Gary Kubiak, who's the offensive coordinator, mm. they would show us even if a team was bad. Right. He says, see, and they would show us great plays that the defense had made. Mm -hmm. He said the only problem is they're just not consistent. Right. He said, don't let them get consistent against us today. Right. And so that's what you have to reinforce mm -hmm. is that, hey, this is a good team. Hey, I understand they, they've lost the game. They're two and two or they were this and that. Mm -hmm. But don't let them put that consistency together against right. us. Uh, the, and plus, the Giants finished all five in the red zone. You see, mm -hmm. you lose games by kicking field goals. Right. You win games and possibly championships by scoring touchdowns. I'm glad you just said that. So now that you, you see the way the Giants have played, opposed opposed to how they looked against everybody else, do you think a quarterback change is necessary? Being that they had uh, such a such a great opportunity to win today's game and they played well and Ty Tyrod Taylor did things that he needed to do to make sure he didn't lose the lose the game for the team, but gave them a chance at the end. Would you make a quarterback change at this point? I, I would not. Let me tell okay. you why. It's easy for the guy to come in mm -hmm. for one game because there's not a whole lot of film on him. Right. Now we're going to get some game tape on him. Now we got a game mm -hmm. to see what they like to do with Tyrod. Tyrod okay. did a great job of getting the ball out of his hands. He did right. a great job. If it's not there, taking off and run. He did a great job of getting uh, of uh, of getting the ball out of his hands. I wouldn't make the quarterback change just yet. Um, let's see how it plays out. But he mm -hmm. did look good. Yeah. I thought the offensive line blocked a little better mm -hmm. than what they normally yeah. normally a, a, do a little, against a Daniel better. Jones. <laughs> Daniel Jones is like, hey, bro, can I get some of that guys? I mean, just a look. <laughs> they got right. two guys. Tied for giving up the second most sacks, and another guy, Ooh. the right tackle, that's tied for giving up the second most pressures. It's hard to win. It's hard to play that position, right? When you got two offense, you three of your offensive linemen are shooting bad, right? Three, three, three of your offensive linemen are shooting real bad. Oh, yeah, man. it's hard to win games like that. Yeah, I got, I got you. Let's I go. Got the Forty Nine ers lose to the uh, uh, Browns, nineteen seventeen. Mm -hmm. My take went viral. Because mm -hmm. I said I did not believe Brock Purdy was elite. Right. And Ocho, mm -hmm. we've got to stop this notion. Right. Our quarterback's on a team. They win. He's elite. We've got to stop. We, we right. Normally, mm -hmm. guys had to put the string together some years. Consistency. Guys had to, had to string together MVP season. Or guys mm -hmm. had to go to Pro Bowls. Guys had to be all pro. Now a guy have a good two, three game stretch. Oh, mm -hmm. he's elite. It's okay. Look, there's 32 quarterbacks. Yes, it's sir. okay. You got the elite, mm -hmm. and you got the middle of the pack, and you got right. guys that are just guys. Right. Just because your guy, just because your guy is is an elite, that doesn't mean he's a bum. Mm -hmm. People were saying, "Oh, you trying to say block?" I didn't say that. Right. I'm just saying I haven't seen enough to declare mm -hmm. him elite. Right. Well, you know, you know what's hard to do? It's hard to declare him elite based on the supporting cast he has around him. He has a superior supporting cast around him. Your offensive right. line, your receivers, the running back you have. Now, let's say if you were to take Brock Purdy and put him a, in a different position, put him in a different different team where he didn't have the repertoire, you know, the arsenal mm -hmm. that he has over there with the 49ers, will he still right. be able to be consistent with his play week in and right. week out? That lets you know whether you're elite or not. I think that's that's the way I, I judge some of the top tier quarterbacks. You can take Patrick Mahomes and put him anywhere on any of the other 31 teams, and you know what you're gonna get. The same thing right. with Josh Allen. They they are they are playmakers that make the players around them much better. 
Now, I'm not sure what Brock Purdy does with the 49ers offense because the players that he has surrounding him are just that great. These aren't your average dudes. They're top-tier dudes at every position over there. Right. I agree with you. Purdy was 12 of 27. He completed 44% of his passes, mm-hmm. 125 yards, one touchdown, one interception. Uh, and that and th- and that's all that I'm saying. And right. we saw how he looked when mm-hmm. Christian McCaffrey exited the game, when mm-hmm. Debo exited the game. Mm-hmm. That's your opportunity. Right. When guys, because we saw Patrick Mahomes go win the Super Bowl mm-hmm. and, and they took the most dangerous man in football away from him, Tyreek mm-hmm. Hill. He went to and won the Super Bowl. Right. That's what eliteness is. Tom right. Brady is elite because we see him, <clears throat> no matter who's out there on the field, he's going to be great. Yeah, right. he's not going to win every game, mm-hmm. but you look at Tom Brady and you're like, okay, he's elite. Peyton mm-hmm. Manning is elite. elite. The, right. Raw, I mean, look, everybody, elite, we got to stop throwing mm-hmm. around. Uh, in greatness we too freely leap. he's mm-hmm. great because right. he made a play or they mm-hmm. won a few games mm-hmm. it doesn't work like that people yeah. but he he is very good and the fact that he had to yes! go against a, a jim swartz defense that yes. is the real deal the mm-hmm. boys are real they obviously listen the browns ain't no pushover regardless of what they what they, oh, what they regardless of what their record may show let me ask you a question. Yes, sir. When have we ever said it? When have an elite quarterback ever worried about the defense he was going up against? Oh, you see never. what you just did? That did, that told yeah. you right there yeah. he's not yeah. elite. Because oh, yeah. when okay, you okay. Ever, I, see, I see what you're You didn't never say that about Tom Brady. Right, right, right. You never said that about Peyton Manning. Right. You've right. never said that about Patrick Mahomes. Right. It doesn't matter. Right. Because elite, hey, you the best. Hey, right. if I'm the best pitcher in the major leagues, yes, I want to face the best hitters. I don't right. say, well, hey. He got some good stuff, but he definitely don't want to play. Okay, he don't okay. want to face Shohei Itani, or he right, don't want right. to face Aaron Judge or Mike Trout. Right. Nah. And and so look, I I I, I thought uh, that unnecessary roughness penalty uh, on the receipt. I I don't know about that, Ocho. Now, right. unless they said he launched himself, and I don't right. think he launched himself because mm-hmm. it was just. I mean, he turned. He got mm-hmm. him. He got. It, he didn't hit him in his head. Right. He didn't hit him in his neck area. He just. And I know it's a bang bang play. But yep. every big hit is not unnecessary. Roughness. Roughness. Damn, it's football. I think I understand the, the the call itself. Unnecessary roughness, pass interference, every other call, it's just too much inconsistency in it. It's too much inconsistency in it, and it's costing it's costing people games. It's costing people mm-hmm. money, obviously, on the back end. I understand what the NFL is trying to do, trying to protect the players, but it's getting to a point where it's so inconsistent at times where the call isn't even the call, where the game of football is not even the game of football to this point. And yeah. it, it, it's, it's, it's ruining games. It's costing teams games. And it could hurt you on the back end, you know, when you lose a game that you that you, that you need right. later on because of a, a, a call that really shouldn't have been called. And it's, it's oh, happening Joe, too much. In today's game, what it's allowed people to do, what it's allowed uh, uh, things to happen is, mm-hmm. is that guys with a lot less courage is able mm-hmm. to play this game because they've taken the physicality out of it, mm-hmm. because they've taken the intimidation out of it. That's a good because one. Because all these, I until I started leaving the game, I ain't never heard of no three step, no three step slant route. A three step slant route, and you got Ray Lewis, or you had Singletary, or you had like John Offerdahl. You don't want none of that. They oh, would you split want- your dome. <laughs> Man, <laughs> a free, like, hey, you got that? No, no. It's like a, a, a defensive receiver. I yeah. never heard of them. I never nah. heard defenseless. They're like, bro, you got a helmet and shoulder pads. How you defensive? Yeah. They didn't see you out there naked. Listen, it's a, it's a different ball game. Today's game is, is. Ex- t- today's game is extremely different. I don't think how go- I don't think they understand how good they have it. I think about the two thousands. I think about the two thousands. <laughs> With your Ray Lewis's, your Air Reed, your Troy Palomalos, Steve Atwater, Donovan Darius, um, after that, Bob Sanders, Sean Taylor, the people where it made you think twice. You know you got to go across the middle, but you're yeah. thinking twice before you got to. Yes. Soon as you, when you coming off the line and you trying to see where they are before you make your cut so you know when to brace or you know when to get down and make that business decision. Yeah. Yo, it was different. Uh, it was different. Yeah. Hey, it wasn't no pretty one-hand catches. Mm-mm. One no pretty... Hey, one over the one, middle. Whoa, whoa, yeah. Oh, you oh you want to profile with? Oh, okay. Shit. You might do it. Oh, you might do. I tell you what. You might uh-huh. do it. You might do it in the first quarter. But I guarantee <laughs> you would never do it again. <laughs> I mean, in the nineties, think about we had Mark Carrier, we had yeah. uh, Rodney Harrison, we yeah. had Ronnie Lott, 
Mm, we had oh. Steve Atwater. We had mm. Eddie Anderson. We had Joy Browner. Mm. We can, Eddie Anderson hit a dude so hard, and then he <laughs> WWE, he counted him out. One, <laughs> two, three. That's what guys would do. <laughs> yeah. We, I mean, those safeties back then, they were big safeties. They're not yeah. being moved safety. They wasn't worried about no covering. Right. They were coming down hill. Hill, yeah. They were playing shell high safeties, mm -hmm. and they dare you. Yeah. They dare you to run over. Yeah, they, they dare you to run a far. What? Listen, if you don't catch the ball, they're going to leave you with something to take back to the huddle. Because that's all you wanted to do because football in its in its, in its, in its truest, in its purest mm -hmm. form was about intimidation. Yeah. Yeah. It's about intimidation. Oh, you caught that one in the first one. But mm -hmm. come third quarter, like, oh, oh, you got gate. Now nah, nobody got gate arm. Everybody <laughs> extended. Everybody want to catch you with one hand, Ocho. Everybody want to do a selfie. Everybody do yeah. a selfie catches now. Yeah. Yeah, and it, it's different. Going I mean, across it, the middle, if the quarterback didn't put it in your numbers, yeah, hey, 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 hey. I ain't want that one. I ain't want that one. We we but, get the next one. It, but listen, like 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 they did say, man, it's it's to protect it's, for, it's to protect the players. It is. It's, I get it. I get it. It's for safety. It is. But I get the it. Game the game has changed. It's not the same anymore. It is it's it's not, not the same. But let's not take away from the fact. The 49ers got beat by P.J. Walker. Now, we oh, can yeah. dress all this up. We right. can say this. We can say mm -hmm. that. That wasn't Patrick Mahomes on the other side. Right. That wasn't one of these, these, these top-flight quarterbacks. On the, mm -hmm. That was a journeyman quarterback mm -hmm. that's been on how many teams? Seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen? Mm -hmm. he's, been on, he's, he's been on a host of different teams. Right. Oh, my bad. That's Josh Johnson has been on all those teams. Mm -hmm. But he's been on teams. He's played, he's played in a lot of different leagues. Right. Bro, that's who beat you. Yeah, but also you you can't you can't discredit the defense what the defense was able to do. You got to understand now the Brown defense they rank they rank fourth in the league. They don't allow yes. nothing but fifteen points fifteen points a game. Right, fifteen points but, a game. I don't I don't know what Jim Schwartz is over there feeding them young fellas, man. Especially the secondary. That goddamn Denzel Ward, man. Man, we'll look. see what they can do when you can pressure. You can do a lot of things in Thanks. the secondary. You can mask right. a lot of things. And Jim mm -hmm. Schwartz is a pressure guy. Mm -hmm. He's mm -hmm. gonna come. Now he has Miles Garrett on one side, right? So they can bring, they can generate pressure with a four. But Schwartz likes to bring pressure. He mm -hmm. has no problem bringing pressure. Right. And so in a situation like that, when you got a, a defense mm -hmm. like like what the 49ers are, mm -hmm. the last thing your quarterback can do is turn the ball over. Ball over. Yeah. See, that's what got him in trouble. Mm -hmm. Is that when he turned the ball over and he gave him life, right? So you now all of a sudden you put that defense. Hey, punt the ball. Mm -hmm. Hey, let's. Hey, long as we don't turn it over, they can't beat us. Yeah, we make them make the mistakes, Thanks. not us. Right. Because here's the thing, Ocho, and you know this very well. When you are a better team and you mm -hmm. turn the ball over, one of two things happen. Either you go down to the level of the competition you play in, or right. you bring them up to your level. level. One of the two is going to happen mm -hmm. when you turn the ball over. And that's what we saw today. Uh, I got, go ahead. I got another question for you real quick, because you you yeah. you understand the landscape a little better than me. I'm not sure the casual fan will understand what I'm asking you, but I'm asking you anyway because you have the expertise. Do you think the, the Browns personnel, mm -hmm. even with Debo and CMC going out, do you think the Browns personnel – is fared much better than the other teams to play against the 49ers as just like the Bills versus the Dolphins. The defense, the personnel is better suited to play against the Dolphins the same way the Browns were against the Eagles. You, you think that comes into play a little bit? Just It, it, do, it does, but he didn't you have get, you those. Get what, you get what I'm saying, though, right? I get, I get exactly what you're saying. Okay, 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 okay. You got a personnel that can, that can, that can, that can, that can pressure your quarterback. Right. First of all, they neutralized the run. They shut Christian McCaffrey off. Before right. he went out of the ball game. Mm -hmm. So now we shut the runoff. Now we know you got to throw the football and mm -hmm. we can pressure you. Right. And so now without Debo, now without Christian McCaffrey, now you, we've taken two of your most dangerous threats away. Mm -hmm. So now, really, who am I worried about? I'm right. worried about Kittle. I'm worried about IU. IU, right. I take, I take, I take Denzel Ward, you got IU. Mm -hmm. And now if I need to, I can roll, I can bracket a Kittle. Kittle, yeah. Or, or, vice so, it, or vice versa. Or, 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 or vice versa. Right. So that's that's what they were able to do because they've taken away a lot of uh, 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 you take away mm -hmm. C-Mac and you've taken away uh, uh, Debo. Eagles go to the, uh, the lose to the Jets. Jet, 
And Ocho, I've been telling you, a lot of times people are just concerned about the destination and they mm -hmm. don't look think about the journey. I'm something like a meteorologist because I'm trying to predict because I'm seeing things. Now, I told y'all, I said, er, the whole year, I said, Jalen Hurts hasn't played well. They're winning. They're winning. They're winning. They're winning. Mm -hmm. I say, but winning masks a lot of things. I say, mm -hmm. the, wor the worst thing you can do is win because you, but, but we won. And I had to get out of that mindset. And again, thanks to Mike Shanahan. Because I remember the, I had a, a hundred, the first game, 1995, Ocho. Mm -hmm. We played the Buffalo Bills. I yeah. had 10 for 180. Opening night. At the time, it was like the fourth or fifth best opening day rece receiving game in history. Right. And uh, Steve Antonopoulos, who the athletic trainer, came and tapped me on the shoulder in the meeting and said, Mike wanted to see me. So I thought, you know, hey, Mike, you know, because I had missed, I had offseason surgery. Mm -hmm. I didn't get a chance to really do a whole lot in training camp. I'm like, Mike was going, oh, I said, Mike going to praise me because he had been riding me pretty hard because right. it wasn't in OTAs. I couldn't practice because I had surgery. He said, what's up, uh, 84? I said, hey, Mike, how you doing? You know, I got a smile. I said, yeah, you know, Mike, better give me some love. I was, hey, I was offensive player of the game. Right, so, you right. know, I will get that love. Right. I sit down. He said, uh, he cut the tape on. Miss Block. Ooh. Low. <laughs> not not uh, uh, not getting in and out of my break. Right. He said, 84, he said, 84 mm. that's not good enough. Mm. He said, he said, I'll never accept anything in a win. I wouldn't in a loss. Think about what I just said, Ocho. Yeah. He said, I will never accept anything in a win. I wouldn't in a loss. Had we lost that game, that effort wouldn't have been good enough. Right. And if it's not good enough in a loss, it's not good enough in a, win. in a win. I like that. That was That's 1995, right. and I never forgot those words. Yeah. I told y'all Jalen Hurts wasn't playing well, but because he was winning, y'all let it skate. The man has more interceptions this year in six games than he had all of last year mm -hmm. in 17. But now, every time I try to tell you something, Ocho, when we, when we, when you and I talk, you have a level of expertise. I have a level of expertise. Yes, sir. I try to, I try to, the viewer, the listener. What I try to do is says, look, I'm telling you, through 14 years in a lot of meetings and being around a lot of great minds, these are some minefields that I see with mm -hmm. my eye. Because when I watch the game, Ocho, I'm not seeing that. I don't care that they scored. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I don't get excited when a team score. I right. don't. I need to know why. Okay, what did you do? What was the formation? Okay, what was the defense in? And so now I can analyze, okay, this guy made a mistake. No, he right. made a mistake. He was supposed to be here. He was supposed to be there. And I've been trying to tell people, I say, guys, the record, I understand winning, winning, winning. But there are some minefields that you're gonna get, you're gonna get blown up on mm -hmm. if you're not careful. Mm -hmm. And lo and behold, it happened today. 28 of 45, 280. One touchdown, three interceptions. Um, Jets, four defense force, four turnovers, had a couple of other interceptions that they dropped. Right. What did you see? What, what was what was one of the main takeaways that you took from this game? Well, what I took away from the game was obviously the defense. Jalen Hurst didn't play well. At some point, you're going to get a game like this. And you say he hasn't been playing well to your standard, the standard that we hold a Jalen Hurst that went to the Super Bowl just not, not long ago. We hold him to a higher standard with him being one of the best, obviously him getting a big, a big deal, big, big contract, all this. So a lot comes with that. A lot comes yes. with that. So yes. they, they've been able to mask some of the things that haven't been going well with him because they are winning because, you know, winning yes. cures everything. But yes. On the inside, some of the things that we can see as former players that have played the game, we can see the small holes or the small discrepancies that will creep up on you and bite you. In the, you know what? It happened, to, it happened tonight. The turnovers. Right. Obviously, if you were the betting man, if you was the gambling man, anybody that's gambling or betting man, I'm sure they probably had the Eagles to win because they were playing the Jets. Oh, yeah. For sure. Hey, you For know, sure. So I'm sure everybody lost some money. Everybody probably lost some money. Yes. But again, you know it needs to be fixed. I, I, don't, I don't need to go into, into detail on what it is, but you know it needs, needs to be done. What the thing is, is that when you play a team like the mm -hmm. Jets, mm -hmm. they're a little challenged offensively. Mm -hmm. Defensively is very, very good. Very they good. pride themselves on taking the ball away. Mm -hmm. So in that mindset, don't turn it over. Right. Don't give them short fields. Mm -hmm. Don't allow their crowd to get into the game. Mm -hmm. Make them beat us. Right. Make them drive the football. Everything that I'm sure uh, they talked about they did the opposite. Right. What did they do? 
turn the ball over. Ball over. What else did they do? Allow the team to get into it. Mm -hmm. And so you, Zach, now all uh, Zach Wilson has to do is now I don't have to, as long as I don't turn the ball over yeah. or give you scooping scores, we're going to be fine. Yeah, what's his name? What's his name again? Zach Wilson. Yeah, make sure you say it loud and proud too, baby. <laughs> Zach Wilson. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if they, look, they yeah, won the wait, game. Ain't nothing you can say. Ain't no, they say. won the game. They won the game. Yeah, they yo, won yeah, the game. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Defense wait. was defense Zach, no, was. No, 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 no. We not we not finna do that. Zach Wilson beat the Philadelphia Eagles. Come That's on, what we Ocho. gonna say. Say it with me. Ocho. Say it with me. Say it Ocho. with me, please. Ocho. Say it with me. Ocho. Oh, how about Zach this? Wilson here? beat the Philadelphia in the, Eagles in Buffalo game. The defense created four turnovers. Right. In today's game, the defense created four turnovers. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The, hold whoa, on. Whoa, whoa. I guess. Hold on. I guess the Broncos. They created three turnovers. Okay. Is is that what we doing? No, so no. I just heard you. I just heard you say not long ago, PJ Walker beat the San yes. Francisco 49ers. Yes. Okay. Yes. So I I need you to say it for I say it with me, please. Don't say it with me. Don't fight me. Just say Zach Wilson Ocho. beat. Just say it with me, please. Uh, Zach, me Zach Wilson. Zach Wilson played he well. He didn't put the ball. But what did I tell? So let me ask you this. Now, this is the same argument I've been using against the Cowboys. Mm -hmm. What happens when they don't get four turnovers? What right. happens when they don't create short fields? Okay. Now, what have we seen? That's all I'm saying. Zach okay. Wilson played okay. well today. Right. And when you're a better team, I think from mm -hmm. top to bottom, I think the Eagles are a better team than the Jets. But when you turn it over, either you go down to their level mm -hmm. or you bring them up to your level. But one of the two, now you're playing on an equal right. field. And that's the last thing that you want to do. Right. I like what Zach Wilson is doing. I hear what you're saying, but Zach Wilson is getting more and more comfortable week in and week out. What is being asked of Zach? Zach, we don't need you to be we don't need you to be Aaron Rodgers. Just don't turn we it don't over. Need you to be, we don't need you to be Patrick Mahomes. We just need you to be efficient and don't yes. turn the ball over today. Correct. It wasn't yeah. a huge game for him. 19 no. for 33, 100, 186 yards. But he's outplayed two of the best in the game. He's outplayed Hurts. And they hadn't beat the Eagles. What? They were 0-12. Yeah, they had the never Eagles. beaten the Eagles. He'd beaten Mahomes. And he beat no, he didn't beat Mahomes. Hurts. What? No, he didn't beat Mahomes. They no. lost, but he outplayed. You say he outplayed. I, I, I played. Okay, my bad. My, my bad. My, my bad. That's, 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 that's what I was trying to go. Yeah. I'm sorry. sorry. I know. For, I know. I know you tried to go. Sorry for the mix up. My bad. My bad. And, and yeah. because 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 he didn't because the Eagles turned the ball over mm -hmm. so many times, mm -hmm. it 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 neutralized them stopping the Jets in the red zone. The Jets right. went one for four in the red zone, mm -hmm. and I'm not so sure that last touchdown they allowed him to score because they needed the ball back, ball back. with more time on the clock. Right, right. Which, right. but I'm not so sure because they didn't want to want them to bleed the clock and then kick a field goal and leave minimal time. Right. But considering, see, the thing is, anything can happen. Anything can happen. We've seen Seattle Seahawks have taught us nothing. You don't concede. You don't concede touchdowns in situations like that. Right. But I thought the Jets. I thought the Jets played well. I thought the game was about to get away from them, and they make they create a big turnover. And so kudos to the Jets. Uh, that defense is legit, and they did that without Sauce and mm -hmm. some of the other key contributors on the defense side of the football. So right now, if you had to rank, give me your top three teams in the NFC. Top three teams in the NFC? Yes. Philly? No, 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 no. San Francisco, San Francisco still. I still got the Niners one, yeah, too. Let, 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 me, let me stop playing around now because San Francisco, Philly. Is it, is it, can I put the Cowboys third? Shouldn't I put the you Cowboys can, third? But yeah. I got, I'm going to surprise you with my second team. I got the Lions. Oh, I got the Lions. I got the no, Lions. Right. I got right, the right. Lions. I'm, I'm too. sorry. I'm sorry. I got the Lions third, then the Cowboys. Yeah. I got, I got the third, then the Cowboys. I got 49ers, Lions, Eagles. Whoa, That's whoa, my whoa, top whoa, three teams. Whoa, 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 whoa. You got the Lions second? I got the Lions second. They've been impressive. They've They're been impressive. very, very impressive. I mean, they went on the road. And beat a uh, uh, and beat a hot team in Tampa. In Tampa, Tampa yeah. was playing yeah. well. Now I'm not right. saying Tampa are world beaters, but they mm -hmm. had been playing well Very early well. in the season. So that's you know what Ocho really that's all we can base it on. Mm -hmm. Now look, now it might be a situation that we look down the road and this game don't mean anything because one team is four and thirteen and the other team is five and five and twelve. Right, and we right. say hell that win didn't mean nothing because they were right. terrible anyway. 
-hmm. But it, at this juncture, mm -hmm. Tampa had been playing well. Very well. And they went on the road and held them to two and held them to two field goals. Yeah. Uh, they went on the road. Kansas City did a job. Jared Goff is playing extremely, extremely mm -hmm. well. Yeah. At some point in time, we might have to get Jared Goff some love for that MVP. Yeah. I, I, I you know, if I'm gonna sleep on it, and if I right. wake up in the morning and mm -hmm. God spare me, you know, I'm in my right mind. God goes, right. hey, go on and put him in an MVP discussion. Yeah. I'm gonna have Most to do definitely. that. Most definitely. Yeah. Tyreek, did you see Tyreek's celebration? I love it. I love it. I do love it. That, listen, you... that was let that was legendary. <laughs> yes. That was that was that was legendary. That's 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 up there with one of the one of the best ever. Easily. Yes. The man, hold on. Check this out. Now you know the NFL is gonna find him, right? That's, I pay it. I don't care. I pay it. Ocho. I but you know it. the guy, you know the guy that phone that he used? Yeah. He works for the NFL. That's fine. The NFL, NFL, hold on, check this out. The NFL had put it up on all of their platforms. Right. And then they deleted it. Because how you gonna find how you gonna find a man mm -hmm. that y'all promoting it and y'all talk about yada yada yada, but you turn mm -hmm. around and find him. So they deleted yeah. it. Yeah. Listen, this is an entertainment business. This is what the NFL needs to have a better understanding. Obviously, during my day, myself, T.O., Steve Smith, and some others, we were having a little too much fun. Oh, yeah. all of a sudden, then the NFL realized, wait a minute, this is good for the game. The entertainment value of the game, drawing more eyes, making it more valuable mm -hmm. for those that are watching, allowing people to want to see and come and see the game, to see certain players like Tyreek Hill do stuff yeah. like this. What's going to happen <laughs> when he scores? We, you never know. You never know what's going to happen. And the funny I, thing, this, this is the one thing I want to say about fines. This is one thing I want to say about fines. Tyreek made a comment, said, I don't play this game for the money. I play it for fun. And this is what the beauty of that is. And I, I need people to understand this. They find you, obviously, because they feel, well, there's only one way to keep these NFL players in line, and that is take what they think we value most, and that's your money for a game that it we're supposed to play and have fun and entertain. When they when taking the money doesn't work, that means they have no control over you in the way you play. That is so beautiful. So beautiful that Tyreek said what he said today, and I hope he keeps on doing but, it. But here's the thing, Ocho. When they want you to stop it, what they do, they make it so cost prohibitive, you have no choice but to stop. Because what they do, they'll find you 7500 and they say every fine that comes after that, we're going to double it. So now it goes to 15, then it goes to 30, then it goes to 60. And now you're doing a celebration that cost you $500,000. Your agent, your management team going to mm -hmm. say, don't do that. You know what I think? I think, I think, I think <laughs> the Dolphins, the Dolphins front office should step in at that point. I think the Dolphins front office should step in at that point. Matter of fact, get to the point where Tyreek, we know what he should do. By the time I got to year seven, this is why Roger Goodell and I have such a good relationship now. Because I wasn't following no rules. I was going to have me some fun. We got about year seven, and, and I knew I had something coming up for that game. I was mailing my check-in to the league office on Wednesday ahead of time before the game. And I know that really <laughs> pissed him off. I, right. I, I know that pissed him off. Man, enjoy the game. Have fun, man. There's a very small window of opportunity to do what you do, and that's playing the game that you love, that you worked your ass off to get to. Obviously, to play at the pinnacle of your childhood dream. Do it just like this and have fun, man. That that right there will never, ever, ever be forgotten. That is cemented. That was dope. I, if you remember Joe Horn, when he went and pulled out the cell phone, you know, he first of all, I did it. I did a celebration the week before, but I didn't actually have a phone. Right. right. I caught a three. I had a three touchdown game against the Chargers. Yes. Sir. And then I went. I went to the. I went to the goalpost and mm -hmm. picked up the phone, pretend like I was calling my granny. Like, right. Right. I got right. A, yeah. Yeah. Granny, I got another one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got that three up on the day, and I hung the phone up. Right. Joe went and got an actual phone and put it down, <laughs> put it down in the goalpost. He's like, I know I'm gonna score this year, and right. just just for safekeeping, and right. pull the phone out. The problem is, Ocho, you know what's going to happen. Right. Somebody going to order DoorDash. Somebody order Grubhub. That's book. fine. Call That's it. fine. That's now, you fine. know, we That's not. And listen, I order have, Uber. If what, I was playing right now, I order me an Uber. I said, look, come through the stadium and go through the, go through the barriers and come pick me up on the field. Listen, I want a black car. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm extremely creative. I'm just thinking about it. if. I would have scored. You know how they have the team celebrations? You know, the team, you know, everybody yeah. be doing stuff together. I right. would probably pull a fan. It would have to be fast. I would have probably have a fan come down and we do something together. 
Yeah. That 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 would, that would be that would be something that I would that that dog the celebrations or <laughs> oh you, did you see the remember the Titans from the Bengals? Yeah. The Bengals did the remember the Titans thing. Dog, oh, that it's yeah. like it's, it's it's beautiful for the game. I just hope the NFL doesn't mess it up and realize it realize what it does for the fans and people like myself. Like I played the game and I'm excited. Look how I'm talking. I'm I'm all, I'm yeah. hyped up. You know what I'm thinking, Ocho? I wish I could just. I wish my legs, like when I was young and was thinking about it, I had you know, I could have jumped up there and pulled myself up on the goalpost, and I'd have been sitting up on the goalpost. You ain't got that kind of strength. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ocho, Ocho, I'd have been sitting up on the goalpost with the peace sign. Hey, listen, you know what? that that goalpost high as hell now. Yeah, it is. <laughs> that goalpost <laughs> high. <laughs> and with the pads on, you you hey, that got to be early. Yeah. That's got to be early. Early because Paul, Ta- hey, Paul Tagliabue. Now Paul, with Paul was cool. He wouldn't slap them fines on you ca- right. quite like Roger would. Now, but see, Roger had to come in with an iron fist. He had to come he set did. the tone when he first came in, and he did just that. And yeah. I said, well, you know what? We finna go at it. Yeah. We finna go at it. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm Paul, not stopping. Paul and Gene. Well, I had Gene. Paul, uh, Paul and Gene Washington was a little bit more. They were like. They were like. Okay. 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 Right. Know, right. 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 Yeah, listen. When y'all Roger. came along with Roger, and I don't know who who and Mer- 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 Mert Hanks, Mer- Ro- Hanks, Roger and Mert Hanks. That's they fine. They came down with an iron fist. That's fine. Look, the Dolphins, uh, Tyreek, eight hundred and fourteen yards, and what five in six games? Crazy, crazy. Do Dude, dudes on the place for like twenty five hundred receiving yards? I just don't know why would you bring why would you bring pressure? Play Tyreek. In a, a a bump position, mm-hmm. you know the ball going up to Tyreek. Yeah, yeah. You know well, it's going up to Tyreek. I think that was Dante, not Dante. Dante. Ah, oh God, why, why, why? It's slipping my mind. Well, it wasn't cool. Was it? Cool? It wasn't cool. It was quarters on that play, wasn't it? What was it? No, cool? they brought pressure. Yeah, no. Yeah, they, played, so yeah. they, they had no choice. The safety had to come down, and you I will play off. Get the tight end. I will play off. You would. Yes, you can't. That's not the way the defense works. You can't. You can't. You can't change up. You if, here, if you bring a pressure, you got to. You got to play up. And if you don't play oh, up, oh, they gonna throw it to him quick. And then what? He gonna shake you? Hey, I was gonna. Hey, I was gonna try. I was gonna try to shout it. But Ocho, here's the thing: if you come up, if you open the door, flies are coming in your house. He opened the door for Tyree. Now what's the now what's the likelihood? Okay, you three yards in front of him. Mm-hmm. You don't get a jam on him, and you right. open the door. In two steps, he's in front of you. It's a wrap. Now what? It's a wrap. In two, right. in two, literally in two steps. Mm-hmm. Well, there, there's really nothing you could do. And nothing you can do. And obviously, if you're gonna play press, you got to at least try to get, get your a hand hands on, on it. it. You got to get your hands you, you on got, it. Ocho. You got to. You got to. You got to. And if if they go, if you're gonna strike out the band, you know what you should do? Pick a side and just be aggressive. Pick a side. Pick a side yeah. and be aggressive. Most of the time, he releasing outside anyway. So just. Listen, play a, well, play a half a man outside. Do something. Uh, yeah, I can't let if, – if anything, Ocho, because I, I, I understand because the general rule of thumb is that in in, in, in the uh, – if you go, if you come with the blitz, mm-hmm. anything, any kind of pressure, mm-hmm. you don't want to let him inside because mm-hmm. that's a easy, that's an easier throw. But that's not fair. Bro. You got to change the rule based on him. Tyreek is special. He's in the category yes! of his own. He's in the category of yes! his own, especially when it comes to man to man or anything of that nature. And if you play off, it's it's, it's a pick your poison situation because if you bring <laughs> a pressure and you play off, he gonna catch some short. It hey, listen. It take one move. It take yeah, one oh, move. Oh, he out the and gate. He, and he gone. And he if out you, the gate. If, yeah. And if you press, it's the same thing. It's the same and thing. When I, I remember uh, earlier this year, they said I said Tyreek Hill is the most dangerous player. Regardless of position, right. I'm, I'm talking about offensive player. I'm talking about linebacker. I'm talking about mm-hmm. nobody strikes fear like mm-hmm. this man Mm-mm. because, like you said, he can take a five yard route. There are very few wide receivers that can take a five yard route and turn into an 80 yard spectacular, or as we say, hit his head on the goalpost. Yeah, he can do it. Yeah, he can from, do it from any anywhere on the field. Anywhere, the most dangerous, and that's including Aaron Donald. That's including Patrick Mahomes. T.J. Watt, Michael Fred, Parsons, Fred Warning, who, T.J. Fred Watt, Warner, Bobby. Who you name somebody? Nobody yeah. strikes more fear than this guy. This is one of the reasons when they always ask me, "Well, name your top five receivers." He's in a he's in a category of his own. He's his yeah. own entity. He's he's his own special player. Yeah, he just he just something else. Like we when, never you know, when, they, when they talk about me, you know when they, you know how they talk about Messi. All right, I'm, yeah. not, I'm not trying to say he's messy. You know, for those that are watching, I'm just giving you an, an, an analogy. Messi is, it's God-given. Like, there's nothing that will never be anything like that. 
when I talk about Tyreek Hill, I, I put him in the conversation with Messi, as in you see some of the stuff he does on the field. It's like that's that's God given. Obviously, with oh, the yeah. work that he's also put in. Yeah, like it, it's yeah, because he turned him crazy. He's when he first got into the league, Ocho, he was a gadget guy. He was mainly a punt kick returner. Mm-hmm. They bring him in on third down, they flip it to him. But he put time in. He taught himself how to run the route tree. Mm-hmm. He's extremely dangerous because he mm-hmm. can run every route on the tree. Everything. And, and with that kind of speed, we've never seen a guy. He's a He has track speed, mm-hmm. but he's built like a football player. Football player. Most guys that have track speed, Tall they built lead. like track guys. Like, they, yeah. they frail. If yep. you, I don't know how many people have actually seen Tyreek in person, but if you see him, he's he's com, he's compact. He's oh, yeah. 190, 195, mm-hmm. and he's solid. He's yeah. solid as f. Yeah. So he's not like a typical like James Jett and Willie mm-hmm. Gall, all those Willie guys, Gull, yeah. and Sam Grady, all mm-hmm. the, and, and I know I'm going back to guys, but guys that normally that can run like he can run, mm-hmm. they were frailly built. Right. He's ex as explode. Any guy that can turn his dick can stand flat foot and turn a black flip, black a back flip is explosive. That lets you know, Ocho. See, that's mm-hmm. what that's you, you see guys vertical jump, and yeah, broad jump. That's mm-hmm. explosive power. Yeah, you see the way he moves. Mm-hmm. He's ex- I've never yes. seen a guy eat up a cushion mm-hmm. like he can. And you know the funny thing about it is not only is he explosive, not only is he fast, but he's right now fast. There's a difference. There are people yeah. that are fast. But they get go, they get going. Like let's no, say, no, no, like, no. He right now, he instant speed. Right, I mean, right yeah, now. Yeah. Some guys right, have to build up. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, and he right now fast out the gate. And See, he he's that guy type of guy. Most people run as fast as they can. He mm-hmm. run fast as he want to. Too. <laughs> See, he got that kind of speed. I run fast as I want to. Oh, you and you can't do anything with him. Right, right, right. But right. he, hey. It's, 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 I mean, to, to watch him and to see what he's become mm-hmm. is just unbelievable. And yeah. he from the crib. He's from Georgia, Coffee County. I got to throw mm-hmm. that in there. You know, I always support the guys from the crib. So, big takeaway, uh, let's get to your bingles. Mm-hmm. I don't know Pete Carroll. Pete Carroll just keep – Pete Carroll, like, you know what? Mm-hmm. I don't want y'all – I want y'all to – He's like, I don't want y'all to forget that I made the biggest bonehead, dumbest play in the hundred and four hundred and five year history. He said, What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a couple of other ones. Yeah. Ocho, why would you not take the field goal? Mm-hmm. Your defense has basically stymied mm-hmm. the Bengals for the entire second half. I'm talking about shut them down. Yeah. Why not take the field goal? You got the two minute warning and two timeouts. Mm-hmm. They they go for it on fourth down. They don't get it. They three and out them. They punt the ball. Now, instead of needing a field goal to go down and win the game, That's you need cool. a touchdown. Yeah. I just, I, sure. I just want I just want to know. I just want to know what Pete Carroll was thinking. Mm-hmm. And, and and Gino, bro, can you stop retreating? I mean, every time press come, you run back up. Bro, can you stop that? Sometimes mm-hmm. just throw the ball away. It's okay. Yeah. Well, you, know, okay. you got you got you got to get outside outside the tackle box, so you can't just throw it away now because you're gonna get intentional grounding. But again, I'm not a coach. I'm not Pete Carroll. I'm not sure what the logic is in those situations like that. Obviously, it's clear for us to see sitting at home watching from TV as opposed to what it is for them. I think I'm sure Pete Carroll has advisors, especially on the situation and understanding what's going on and knowing that you know it will. If I kick a field goal now, I won't need a touchdown on the back end when we get them to three and out. And I, I don't know what's going on. I don't know where the thought process is and why he did what he did. Where are the analytics guys? Uh, where, where are the analytics guys when they need them? Where are the anal- nerdy guys that couldn't – where are the nerdy, the nerdy people? Because I, I I don't want to leave anybody out people because right. they might be some women. They might be guys. So right. where are the nerdy people mm-hmm. when you need them right. that couldn't play the sport that say, you know what, I want to be involved in the sport. So right. let me tell you, if you go for it on fourth and three, there's a mm-hmm. 46% chance that you'll win the game. <laughs> yeah, and there's a 100% chance you're going to lose if Ooh. you don't get it. Right, right. Yeah. So I, I just want to know where are the people that are in his ear that's telling mm-hmm. him to say, Pete, we kicked the field goal. We're still two minutes. There's still two. We're outside the two minutes, mm-hmm. and we have two timeouts. Where are those people? I have no idea. And do 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 head ho, head coaches have a they have advisors, right? Yes. They have people in the mic. Yes. They, have, they have the eye in the yes. sky up there. Yes. But at, Telling you what, what at, the challenge to challenge you should challenge that. Challenge, yes, right, right. Yes, absolutely. at the end of the day, the call it all comes down to the head coach making the call on what he on what he wants his offense to do. Correct. Yes. Yeah. 
I mean, it's, it's the, the Seahawks played tremendous football. I I, I tweeted out earlier that they yeah. played extremely well. That oh. goddamn secondary, Devin Witherspoon. Oh, no, no, no. We're going to do that. Oh, you try to hey, gloss listen. over that. And hey. you lost them 25 units. Hey, you remember listen. we had that bet? Me and you had that bet. Yeah, we we, we, we had a bet. And you know what? I don't, I don't mind losing it. I don't mind. I took my glasses off for a reason. Because I, I know them boys going to see this, man. Y'all, y'all young, young bulls out there, man. Seattle, man. Man, I, t- I take my glasses off. Man, I salute you. They played a hell of a game, huh? Like for real, what, what I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even mind. Lo- I don't even mind losing. What about you? What did I tell you about Spoon? What did I, what, huh? I, what, what did I tell you about Spoon? Hey, hey, them boys played a hell of a game. Like, like real, real shit. And I'm, I'm cursing too, and I'm saved. <laughs> they, 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 they played a hell of a game, man. You God say what? Damn. They did, and and the coach, and the coach trying to be a hero, trying to say hmm. because you guess what they say? I got, I got confidence in my defense. Yeah. Well, I, Got confidence in my offense. That's what right. they always give you. I know this team. I look them in the eye. I know how we <laughs> practice. Yeah, they looking at you like coach. Stay your ass out the way and let us win this ball game. That's why they looking at you when you stand up there and you go out to the press conference and you try to impress the media members. I look those guys in the eye every single day. I know what they're made of. They say, yeah, we know what you made of too. Some bull jive. <laughs> hey, but now, hey, you should say he look him in the what in the eye. <laughs> yeah, he go out there and talk about. I I look those guys in the eye every single day, and they would tell you, I'll hey. do it again. No, you wouldn't. Before hey. I continue, I want to thank everybody tonight that's watching tonight. Mm-hmm. Please hit the button below and subscribe. And I promise you this: uh, we're gonna get my Wi-Fi. There's a little lag, uh, uh, but we're gonna have that fixed by tomorrow. So when we come to you tomorrow night after the yeah. Cowboys or uh, uh, Chargers game, we'll have that ready. Uh. Colorado Stanford. Yeah. Colorado yeah. jumps out to a big lead, 29 0. 29 0. And what happened? Second half, obviously it was up 29 zip. Second half, you got to keep your foot on the gas. Not only do right. you have to keep your foot on the gas, the penalties, the penalties, the penalties, the penalties are, were a killer. It was also a killer. Obviously, not being able to stop. The offense in the second half as well. Oh man, that, that number thirteen. Up. That Boy, number thirteen. Hey, what? Who was thirteen Alec, name? Alec. Hey. Alec. Ay- wait. Alec. Ayana Moore. Wait. Ayo. Ayo Manor. Did I say it right? Alec, I, I don't Alec. know what you said. All I know is he had a pot and he was cooking everybody ass. <laughs> he had a pot out there on the field and he was cooking everybody ass. Alec Ayo Manor. He had he thirteen. Said, you hey, get listen. some. You get some. Um, he said, "I'm gonna stir fry you. I'm gonna grill you. I'm <laughs> gonna oven roast you. I will fry you." I yeah, mean, listen. he was getting everybody that worked. Listen, I, I I didn't know anything about him until I was able to watch that game. He had 13 catches for 295 yards and three TDs. Mm-hmm. If 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 we didn't know about him then, we know, know about, about him now. now. Hey. We, we know about him now. He put himself on the map. Oh, he Joe. put himself on the map that night. Oh, Joe. And I'm probably going to catch some flag from there. Don't do, it, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Think about it first. Think about it first before you say it. I am. Think about That's it first. That's discipline. Penalties are discipline. Yeah. I'm not saying I know what coach says publicly, and I know what he says privately because I've had this conversation with him. We went to the hall together in 2011. Yes, sir. Me and that man talked up until probably he got to Colorado. We would talk sometimes two, three times a week. Mm-hmm. So I I know what he's trying to get done. But right now, Colorado is a very undisciplined football team. And it's hard to overcome those type of mistakes. Mm. It's hard. You've got to get out of your own way. And right mm. now, they're not getting out of their own way. Right. And that's that's frustrating. Mm-hmm. 29 points? Right. Forget the defense. I don't care about the defense. Because guess what? When they score seven, guess what? They kick the ball off to you. You can right. go back down the field and score also. Mm-hmm. But this, this, they've got to do a better job. They've got to fix that. And, yeah. and 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 coach and coach, coach Prime get up after every press conference and he say penalties, penalties, penalties. Mm-hmm. Now, something is getting lost in translation. Either the message that you're getting is not is not being received, mm-hmm. or how you how you're delivering the message isn't being received, but something, there's a disconnect somewhere because you can't keep having double digit penalties mm-hmm. and expect to win these games. Right. I don't, I don't think that, I don't think there's a disconnect. I think the moments like this are new for these kids. 
the situations that they're in, the lights, the program, the the new the newfound stardom or whatever it may be. At times, you have to find a happy medium of of calmness and relaxing. I call it what I call it being a situation like this when when you're in a game of that magnitude. I call it being quick but not in a hurry. When you when you're quick and not in a hurry, you don't make mistakes. You don't right. you don't make those kind of mistakes that they're making. And I'm talking about from an individual position for me playing receiver. I really can't speak for anybody else. I think about Shador. Shador had a had a very very good game. He, only he made had two one, mistakes. He made two mistakes. Well, he only one, had one, one turnover. One with one no no he only had, one, he only had one, one turnover. With, but here's the thing: if he makes that throw, he has Travis wide open on third and six. He makes that throw. That's the first down. They kill the right. clock. Right. And then he has to realize in sudden death, you can't throw the ball up because now you prevent your team from getting an opportunity, opportunity at three. Right. I'm going to make them kick. A, I'm going to make them score a touchdown to beat me and not kick a field goal. Right. So that's the one thing. Like I said, the, the, the one throw he played phenomenal mm -hmm. up until that third down throw. He missed right. him. He just right. missed him. Mm -hmm. And then the uh, the, uh, the 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 heave. You have right. to un you have to understand. OK, this is sudden death. This is different than the third quarter. This is mm -hmm. different than the fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. Now, because sudden death, we've already, this is our possession. If we don't get points out of this, they get points, they win. So that's something I'm sure right. coach would talk to him about, not just as a coach, but hey, as, a, as a father and a son. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, on the field, I'm talking to you as a father, as a son, I mean, as a player, but at home, hey. This is what I want you to understand. And I'm sure he'll probably call Tom and Tom Brady will tell him the same thing mm -hmm. because they text, they speak uh, frequently. And right. those are some of the things that he's going to have to know. Have to know. Also this, Travis Hunter playing too many snaps. You think so? The guy was out. Ocho, the guy was out for a month. You're going to have him out for a month and bring him back and play him over 100 snaps? Mm. Did you see? And it, and it impacted him on both sides of the football. <clears throat> I mean, let me see. He, he was out a month. That's, that's, that's hard to say. That's hard to say. Is Ocho, think about it, Ocho. Jeez, I, let me ask you a question. I can I understand he's talented, mm -hmm. but if you if if you if you burn him too much, mm -hmm. he hasn't been in game competition in a month. It's, it's, it's easy for us to say on the outside. It's easier for us to say on the outside that he's playing too many snaps. I mean, I think. He knows a hundred snaps and you haven't played in a month. I mean, what, what was he doing before? Before that, he was still he was playing. He had a high volume. He was of playing snaps in well. the game. Ocho, right. think about it now. You playing in the game, so right. you play it every week. You mm -hmm. know, I don't know. Have you have you ever missed it? Have you missed any game during the season? No, no, sir. Let me ask you a question. Yes, when sir. you come out of the preseason, that mm -hmm. first game was the Dickens, wasn't it? Even Ooh. though you have been practicing, you right. have been doing all that. So imagine. Right. Now, think about it. You've been practicing. So imagine mm -hmm. taking a month off. Mm -hmm. And you say, how many plays are there in a the game? Right. 60, 70? Uh, 60, yeah, 70. Okay, I'm going to add 45 to 50 to that workload. Now, tell me how you're going to feel. Mm. Damn. It's, it's Oh, man, that's, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Because I think. Playing two minutes left. Oh, yeah, okay. Watch the performance. Ocho. They was hunting him. They was hunting him on the defensive side, Ocho. He's your best cover guy, and they're hunting him. Right. Why? Because the legs. You're playing. Hold on, Ocho. And this is what this is what you're gonna say. Okay, you're right. You're right. They're playing them a hundred plus snap at altitude. That's not Miami. That's right. Denver, Colorado, where right. they send you to go train. The Olympic training facility is in Colorado. Right. They send you to go there because the blood, because the oxygen. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Are we yes. are we are we panicking a little bit too fast? No, I'm not, panic a little Ocho. bit, tight because listen, Ocho. he wait, wait, stay with me, stay, stay with me. He he was playing a high volume of snap before and was playing well on both sides of the ball. When yeah. he picked off the ball, when he picked off the ball against uh TCU, TCU, when he picked off the ball against TCU, he was playing the same number of snaps. So how about just this game? The person playing in front of him just got the better of him this one time. What if what, well, what if it's just that? What if he comes back next week <laughs> and is right back and, and putting those same situations and picks the ball off or scores but the offense in? But see, it think about what you if he come back with next week, that yeah. means he has a, he had a week up under his belt. But let me ask you a question. Okay, when he picked okay, that okay. ball, I, I when he picked that ball up at TCU, was he coming off an injury and missing a month no, of the season? You, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> You're right. But then I'm just I'm just I'm I'm just thinking like when I was a shorty, when I was that age, about you know how we, we run all day, um, 
Uh, you, you, yeah. you know what I'm talking about. Where we, we run all day and it's football. It's still fun. So we don't even see it as a workload. We see it as uh, this is what we do. This is what I think do. About, Both think sides about of it. the ball. Think about it. Even Charles Woodson that won the Heisman didn't yeah. play this many snaps. Right. And he won the Heisman doing I mean, it. A, remember, this is this is a different dynamic, different team. This is this is this is, this is different. That's Michigan champ, now. Like I said, uh Champ, yeah. Champ, champ Bailey, too, Champ at Bailey, Georgia. Champ, at yeah. Georgia. Yeah. Colorado has 17 penalties for 127 yards. Yeah. Several of those penalties kept drives alive. Mm -hmm. And they had four, one, two, three, four illegal substitutions. Mm -hmm. You can't play with 12. I'm trying to figure the sport that you can have 12 men on the field. I think soccer, you could have baseball, you can have nine. How yeah. many is on soccer? How many on soccer? None but 11. 11? Okay, yeah, football 11. 11. So what sport can you have 12 men? Volleyball, you can't have 12. So mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure the sport. So why the hell y'all keep trotting out an extra man? I think small, small, small errors, small errors, small errors. Four times, Ocho! Ocho, I mean, it, I mean, Ocho, just, if, if, if you rear in somebody four times, you can't drive, damn it. <laughs> One time I understand. When you run in the back of somebody four damn four different occasions, you right. can't drive, bro. Right. You're right. You're right. Listen, first year, that's all I can say. First year, <laughs> what we expected out of Colorado, with everybody doubting them, yes. and where they are and what they're doing, man, listen, I got nothing but high praise and props I, for not just oh, Prime, oh, sure. but for everything they're doing right now. I wanted them to win that last game. Year. Ocho, I want them to win that game because I want them to get the six wins so they can go right. bowling. Right. Oh, I okay, want them okay. to go bowling. Okay. You're right. You're right. You're right. That's what I, that's, that's, that's what I want them to win. Look, right. you got to cut, like you said, you've got to cut down on the mistakes. Right. You can't have that. Yes. Uh, Coach Prime, he's he said it before. He's came he came on uh, um first take and said that he said, I need seven, eight more dogs. Mm. He probably need three. He probably need three or four of those dogs on the D line. He mm. probably needs three, three on the offense, three or four on the offensive line. Mm -hmm. And he then he's gonna he be a bit that as a wrap because he got the skilled players. The skilled players, especially on the offensive side, can make plays. Oh, now yeah. th there's some the guys gonna have to understand situation mm -hmm. and angles mm -hmm. to play because look, you can't give up a 97 yard touchdown. No. You can't. You can't give up a 60-yard touchdown where the guy catches the ball on one side and breaks it all the way back across the side. other side yeah. and score a touchdown. You can't have that. Mm -hmm. But the penalties, 17 penalties get you beat. Yeah. They get you beat. And but it was it, it was it was a great game. 46, 43, double overtime. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Like if if every game, if every game was like that, every collegiate game was like that, it'd be that much better, that much better. Yeah, as opposed it, to the team just blowing everybody out each week, especially the top dogs. Yeah, even even um uh, uh um um we saw what happened with SC and their terrible defense. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know what, o Ocho? I know you uh, um you saw the game DK, and I've talked to DK publicly, and I've talked to him privately. DK, bro, you got you got to stop those, you got to stop that unnecessary stuff. Bro, I mean, what you okay by shoving the guy in his face mask? Trying to intimidate him. Trying to intimidate him. That's all. You caught yourself fifteen. You caught yourself fifteen yards. He, I, 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 I maybe he thought the ref wasn't looking. You think so? Man, Ocho, remember I tell you how you in the wide open. You can't yeah. do. You got to do stuff in a pile. You got to do stuff in a confined, right, a, right, right, a, right, a, right. a congested area. Right. Now you can get away, but if you mm -hmm. right there. He the, the the DB right there, and you shove the man with both hands or, or one hand in his face. Yeah. They're gonna throw a flag every time. Yeah, I, I wonder if Britt said something to him to get him get him riled up like that. Hey, all that talking, see, they you it used to, but you know, old show. In the course of a game, I can right. get your ass back and make it look like a play. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, listen, I get you back. I get you back. Funny, make it look like a play. Yeah, the funny thing about it, if 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 Britt really got in his head. To once once they get in your head like that mentally, and it causes you to react like that, you've already you've everybody already gonna lost, do it. Yeah, you lost the war. You lost guess the war. what? Guess what? Everybody else like, hey man, I, hey you know what? I'm gonna oh, say something get, to him. Get too. him out of his game because that's like the second or third time that that's happened. So clearly that's a problem, bro. Right. You too good. Just yeah. hey, go score on him. Mm -hmm. Go score on him and say, now nah, see, every time you keep running your mouth, this is what right. I'm gonna do to you. Right, 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 right. But, oh man, D, but uh, he's, 
<laughs> DK said after the game, he didn't hear the whistleblower, the play dead, so he continued to block the guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I love DK. DK, you, my dog, hey, nephew. DK, Come shout on. out. <laughs> hey, you know it was kind of loud out there. So that. <laughs> No, say so he, he, he hit a whistle. Yeah, he say he hit a whistle. Say so you know, hey, <laughs> I like it. I like it. I love it. Thank oh, you guys man. for watching. Please uh, click that subscribe button to make sure you get the alerts and notifications that every time Nightcap is on. I'm your favorite uncle, Shannon Sharp. He's your favorite number eighty five, Chad Ocho Cinco Johnson. We'll be back here tomorrow night after yeah. the Dallas Cowboys, Los Angeles Chargers. We're out. Call me if you need me. My number's still the same. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm going to 